as a forward, can you just sort of sum up, you know, what it is like to be thinking taking on a pack like ours, you know, what the fundamentals you have to get right to impose yourself on what is a very good ace? Yeah, um, I think you, you probably mentioned it there. I think um, Argentina have a, a, a massive uh, focus, especially of pass on on set piece. Um, they're, they're they're very very dominant in the area in a lot of places, um, especially the Jaguars as well. They've you know it's something that they've they obviously do very well. Um, scrum, more line outs. It would be something that uh, that we've been practicing all week for, and something that we're you know, very up for. Um, I think it's Eddie has a has a um, a wider plan, I guess, in terms of uh, picking a, a whole team. Um, I think there's myself, Marrow, Courtney, and Joe all offer different things and, and quite uh, quite different players in itself. So I think he Eddie would have picked a team based on you know definitely on what Argentina bring, but also on on the whole team, you know. So whether we've got more ball carriers or whether we've got less ball carriers or or, or things like that. So. Um, I'm, I'm grateful to be starting, but um, you know, it's, I think it's a it's a 23, and, and then they're on a, a 31 man uh, team effort. George, uh, it gets very serious now, obviously, and you, you might need to win, you know, five big games in a row to win the World Cup. So you know, four um, do you think the young players, particularly, are, are ready now for that step up in intensity and that kind of tournament intensity that you've been walking through? I, I think they are. I think. Um, with with some of the young players we've had, we've still had a lot of learnings, um, especially in the the Six Nations just gone. You know, we we dissected that um, pretty well and had a had a good look at you know how we can improve and, and and the and the big factors in those in some of those games. And and we come through the other side a lot a lot closer. We've spent a lot more time, and that's probably a bit of a cliche, and you hear it the whole time. But um, we've we've worked incredibly hard on our togetherness, um, and it's something that I I see in the first two games paying off. So. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll be we'll be prepared for it, and um, and there's a lot of older lads within the squad who can give people nudges if um, you know if if, uh, if there's any signs that they're that they're not up to scratch, I guess. Elliot, kicking the attack all different types of kicking, particularly exposed space, how much? Yeah, I don't think it's just this World Cup. I think it's over the last couple of years. Um, we tried to develop that in our game. I think uh, you probably saw it in probably the Six Nations against Ireland. We used it quite quite a lot to kick in behind them, uh, put pressure on. But every team's trying to do the same thing at the end of the day. So um, yeah, it's obviously you need that communication, but. You get that by just training with each other, um, putting yourselves in those situations and, and seeing what you would do in those situations and hopefully it's the right decision. Uh, Eddie, it's been a pretty consistent long run at fullback. How, how important, I suppose, is that sort of show of faith from Eddie and, and how much do you think you've developed into sort of that, an international fullback? Yeah, it's been brilliant, I think. Um, Obviously, when I first came into the team, I was, I was on the wing and I just wanted to be in the team. And um, I remember Eddie saying, I want to try it fullback now. And he's given me a good good few games there now. And I'm really enjoying myself, um, really enjoying the responsibility and, and what it entails. Um, and I think the, the back three at the moment is a very exciting place to be involved in. So wherever I play, um, um, whether that's um, in the team or on the bench, if I can get in the team, that's brilliant. And, I think the way that Eddie showed faith in me at 15 has been has been good for my development, and, and hopefully um, I can pay him with some good games in this World Cup. Yeah, for any for any of you um, who watch your games, of course, and, and I would like to know if you are uh, satisfied with your performances the first three games, because we, we felt that we you, you won them. Like even without sweating, you know, like you score your four, four, your four tries, the bonus points, and um, we, we think that we can do much better than that. Uh, are you satisfied with your performances, or do you know that you, you have to step up in gear now? 
Uh, firstly, I'd say there was plenty of sweating, um, you know, in hot conditions. Yeah, so. no, I know it's <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, look, th there's, there's things we'll definitely uh, look to, to, to improve on, um, and there's lots of stuff we've talked about, uh, but, you know, we've got 10 points out of two games, so um, I think we're at no means complacent, but we're, um, we're in a, a, we understand we're in a good position, and the position, you know, that we can be in is, is, is the best we can be so far. Look, it's a tough ask. Um, I think you. Uh, you're not together for for the whole year, let alone for ten years. So it's a, it is a tough ask, and you've got um, probably some of the, the the bigger personalities in each squad, then going on to, to making the you know the England team, and then you've got to you've got to work hard and bring them together. Um, maybe before we we slightly underestimated that, um, but look, we've had a, a lot of time having a lot of open, honest conversations, um, which is you know probably takes you a step backwards to then take a few steps forward. So um, yeah, over the over the last kind of three or four months we've been working hard on that. And personally I I've no, I haven't been um, more I, I wouldn't say comfortable, I haven't been more um, in it, I've felt like we've been in a better place uh, ever. Um, so I'm I'm very um, happy to be you know be part of this squad and, and uh, off the field I think we're we're fully functioning. Um, look, I think there's an understanding in, in any uh, organisation that if you've got a good culture, then you know, off field and on field, then then you're going to do better on field. And um, I think that's something that we've we've started to understand, um, and and we're building more and more each game. And like I said, we've put a, a lot of hard work into it in the last four or five months. And um, like I said, personally, I, I feel like it's come to, you know, come to peak at a good time. Elliot uh, no, obviously Sanchez is a big player for him, um, them. Um, with him being out, they probably might lose some leadership. But um, at the end of the day, Erdo Pleta is he's played around the world. He's a very, very good player. Um, he's come on in these World Cups and, and made a difference to their attack as well. So um, yeah, we'll we'll make sure we um, know what he's about. But I think we know what he's about. He he got a good kicking game. Um, He'll, he'll put us under pressure, put some high high kicks for people to chase, and um, it will get their attack moving. So, um, yeah, I don't think they'll lose too much. For both uh, locks, uh, what can you say about uh, Lavanini and Petty? They are playing well at the lineup. Tell us about them. Uh, yeah, they're, they're obviously very good players. Um, they, they present a very um, you know strong challenge this weekend. So. Uh, we've done plenty of research on them um, and we'll obviously have strategies to, to try and conflict what they're trying to do to us. So, um, yeah, it, it'll be a good contest between between um, the whole pack, I think. Both packs are, um, you know, big and um, physical and, you know, we, we pride ourselves on our, on our set piece, so it'll be a good battle. Um, Eddie often describes Jack Nowell as a man of unusual player, just one for his versatility and also the, the sort of energy that he brings to a game. Now, now he's back in the squad, I just wonder if any of you could reflect on what he actually is like as a, as a personality. Is he, is he the same away from the field that we don't see? And, and what have you seen of his long battle with him? You, you've watched him doing his extras on, on the side of the training field for the last X weeks. Yeah, it's been... Uh been a bit of a struggle for him. Um, I think he, you know, he wants to play as much as anyone else, and to battle against his injury um, and a couple of setbacks, 
but he's always been positive. Uh, he's a great uh, member of the squad, and um, I think he's he's represented himself well, even though he can't, can't couldn't play with us up, up until now. And you know, I'm glad he's got his got his chance, and I'm sure he'll get some time for the weekend. And you know, I, I guarantee that he, that he uh, puts it to good use. Um, just wonder what you made of uh, Lewis London's rise first into the Northampton first team, and now England in, in 23, a massive game of this, forcing out a player like Mike Wilson. What are your thoughts on him? Yeah, he's. I think everyone can see how, how well he's doing. You know, he's, he's stepped into the international role. Um, you know, and he looks he looks at home. So, you know, there's nothing but big things um, in the future for him. And I just wanted to carry on enjoying his rugby and, and playing well and enjoying the environment here. Yeah. Uh, Elliot, if I could ask you to reflect on a slightly um, unhappy memory um, your red card against Argentina, what were your memories of that? And did, it, did it knock your confidence at all, particularly when you were sort of going up in the air? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't great. Um, but yeah, it was It was just one of those things, timed it wrong and yeah, kind of knew straight away it was going to be a red card. But yeah, no, it hasn't really affected me too much obviously at the time I was pretty gutted um, and I think Johnny had to go on the flank for most of that game <laughs> which was interesting as well uh, but yeah I think no it hasn't hasn't knocked me back at all but yeah we was just glad the team won on the day one more question there you go. this one's for you Elliot uh, <clears throat> I, I love the way you play for was for England I think with Ben Speed, you're one of the best in the world. And uh, regarding the game and the kicking game that is so important nowadays, um, I love the way you, you run the ball from your own half. Uh, what's your mindset for this game? Do you, do you have already in mind, well, first of all, uh, territory or you will be yourself on the pitch on Saturday? All you can tell me, be an you know? <laughs> No, I think you have to be yourself. I think um, opportunities, whether it's in the first minute or the 80th minute, uh, could win you the game. So it's backing what we can do as a team. Um, that's why we train together, um, so we can trust each other when it gets to those moments and we do call a play and we go to it and we score a try and win the game and we can look back on it and say, oh, that was the right decision. So, yeah, just, just playing what we see um, and, and, yeah, just going through it like that. Thank you.